Welcome everybody. This is Violent Systems for 9-27-2024. We are ready to deliver some premium content here to you. Um, as always I have, well not as always, as most of the time I have my co-commentator, Hogboyfriend, here with me. Hi, hi. Um, we have, last time I checked, um, five sets for you tonight. We are, uh, on the running a little bit behind, so I apologize for that. I had, um, some insurance related issues I needed to sort out before the stream started so I'm just kind of figuring that whole thing out on the side here uh, Solar thank you so much for this primary subscription I really appreciate it um, but yeah we've got five great sets here for you tonight our first up to the docket is Solar and Jupes um, after that, it's going to be uh, Kyojin Kid and Vorbane. Uh, Minori and Dandy are going to fight each other after that. We got Bougie and Alien. And then rounding out the evening is Ducky and Reaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know who any of these people are. Yeah. I think those shouts might be... Shouts out to the lurkers. Yeah, shouts out to the lurkers. You guys are... You guys are the real MVPs. Even if you're like bots or whatever, you know? I appreciate you. Uh, oh yeah, we're in uh, America 201 tonight. So that's where we're gonna be. And we're gonna be on the Shayu cabinet. The Shao Yu cabinet. Trying to connect. Okay. All right, we have a hype train going. Everyone, get in here with the the big subscriptions. We can unlock the batter up emote. We can unlock frog ponder. Hell yeah. Wait, do we already have? It's incoming. We get one of them. Guys, get in here. <laughs> We're going to. We can get frog ponder. Like you can get button mash. The button mash emote will be useful in violent systems. Absolutely. Uh, if we encounter people who play the bad character, and we all know who that is. Yeah. We all hate that character. We we play the good character. Might start doing like a check in or something. To make sure that people are actually here. It's a good idea. Check-ins yeah. are good. Check-ins are good. Uh, accidentally went to America 1. Uh, it happens to everybody. So, yeah. who is okay? Who's here like right now? Because I want to get a I want to get a match going like right now, and I don't want to wait for Jukes to show up if they're not here tonight. We do have a dandy here. We do dandy have is, a dandy here. We have a solar dandy has here. been spotted. Yeah, solar's been spotted. We have a solar spotted. We have heaven and earth stance. Uh, I see the trick to heaven in our sense is to yeah. duck the unblockable every time and then block the mid. That's true. Every time. Yeah, if you block the mid and duck the high, you'll never get hit by that stance. It's true. Yeah. That's what I would recommend to anybody who's struggling with the Lydia matchup. It's actually, like, that's something you can do. It's hard, but it's possible. Like, it's a theoretically possible. What is it? It's like, a, it's like a six to eight frame window or something where you can fuzzy it. Well, you have to do like mid high mid, right? So you have to do like mid duck mid. Yeah. To fuzzy everything, but you can theoretically fuzzy the whole string. Okay. It's just, it's just hard. So I've got Solar here. I've got Dandy here. I've got Alien here. I'm glad that you're all here, but none of you are fighting each other. So that does not 
that is not conducive to matches is what I'm saying. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, this might be the most cursed violent systems that we've ever run. No, no, no. I've definitely done much worse on commentary. Not commentary wise. I mean, just like getting the stream going and getting matches on screen wise. Well, to be fair, we do usually have like a like three to four minute window where we let people like slowly trickle in. Yes, that is true. And the stream has been on for five minutes. Uh, oh, Minori is here. Okay, you and Dandy fight. So really, uh, we did nothing wrong, but we do need to have six additional subscribers if we want to reach the next level mm -hmm. of the hype train. Who the heck is hashtag bring back car? I can tell you right now, it's definitely not me. I fucking hate that character, and I hope he never comes back. <laughs> that's how you can tell I play back his Oh, that's bougie. Because okay. Kayla? Why? Why fuck him wrong? I like, I like fuck him Why? The have, guy have, you seen, have you seen his, uh, have you seen his character art? It's cool. Listen, if they made Falcomron Gone from uh, Final Fan- or not Final Fantasy, from Tekken 3, that'd be really good. Okay, chat, I need to preface this. I need to let you all be aware of this. Um, aware? It just started raining, like, really loud outside my window. So, if I lose power and the stream goes down, I'm just going, I'm going to end, I'm going to end it all, chat. Not like literally, I'm not going to actually do that, but like, I'm just going, I'm just going to take it as a sign that the universe does not want me to stream tonight. So if we lose power at any point, that'll be it. So we're going until they stop us. And the thing is, imagine like a really big mouse breaking into a cheesemonger and just being like, aggressive. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, yeah. Like, they got their eyes on the prize. I think we all do, in a way, honestly. Some people, they have their eyes off the prize. That is true. Some people's eyes are nowhere near the prize, and that's kind of like, that tells you everything you need to know about society these Get days. Ready for the next battle. And then they wonder why they're not seeing the success. Absolutely. Because their eyes are not on the prize. You can't see success when you can't see anything, you know? Listen, I got one eye on the prize, and I got one eye on my money. Mm. And I'm doing a magic eye, and I can see a vision. For me, money is the kind of thing that's on my mind, not my sight, you know? Well, you gotta watch your money with, with the ops around, you know what I mean? I mean, like... it takes care of itself if you, if you let it, you know? What you can do, though, is you can give your money to girls. That's true. Okay, we got uh, Poison versus somebody I'm not sure of. It would be Jackie. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, we got an immediate usage of the Okay. Dandy mounting a counter offensive, starting off the throw gameplay. Going right. for the. Oh my low. god, the reset! Oh, that's gonna get caught. Not gonna kill though. Not at that health, no, but it will give it's, you a Oh, battle. it's, it's However, Kanji. Like, okay, yeah, I, I see it now. Because, yeah, the chair and the chair. Okay. I get it. I do not listen to Ken Carson. Ken Carson? I was like, what? in my brain, I was like the guy who thinks the, the pyramids were used to store grain or whatever. So that's Ben Carson, the Republican presidential candidate from like years ago. I don't know who that is. I'm a Canadian. I yeah. don't follow your stupid politics. Americans don't know who that is either, so don't worry about it. You guys don't even have like polar bears. That's true. We're really lacking. A nice flash dot from Dandy here. <laughs> I'm liking. Um. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that was kind of. That was kind <laughs> Why of. You a did that? Plant the seeds is not very good on with, uh, in case you are unaware. 
So Minori up two rounds. Definitely still very early. I'm saying is that Dandy could have let the full windmill, like full crowd string rock. Right? Like you your opponent has to prove they know how to deal with the strings. The There's thing no you need have to, to like is that Minori is a button presser. They are always pressing buttons. They are always pressing buttons. You, oh have to, you have to jab that or delay get up there in case you were on a winning chat. But yeah, this this is this is my overarching thesis. Yeah, this looks like a match of unfamiliarity. Mm. Um, well, I mean, both of these characters are kind of like round one. not super Fight. commonly seen. So. Asuka Kazama? Yeah, I mean, she's kind of rare, honestly, like in the grand scheme of things. Well, they made her, like, not fun to play. They took away the stop. Well, you know, it's... They made her not fun to play against, either, so they balance it out. Okay. Good combo. Ooh, does not get anything off the whip. Breaks the throw. And goes for mid. That's going to hit. Okay, blocks the string, smart. I don't know if that was a punish. I don't sure. think about it. I don't, I don't know. Getting a lot of mileage out of these round start options, I guess, so. I'm always telling people, but especially <laughs> Danny, just backdash at round start. You don't need to press anything. Mm -hmm. That is you something simply that... Backdash. The thing is, is like, people will oh always be throwing out options at round start. And they don't need to because you're just needlessly kind of like putting yourself in danger. In a lot of ways. Kayla says up forward three is an underrated ask for move. I d agree and disagree. I think it's underrated in Tekken 8 because Tekken 8 ask yeah. players only know like while running one plus two, down one plus two, eat hot chip and life. <laughs> but like Tekken 7 ask players were fucking mashing that shit. Like it was. That was like the Askamil. The thing is, the thing is, is that Ooh. like if you have if you have a tool that accomplishes every task, why would you use any other tool? If yeah, your hammer, um, if your hammer can also like work as like a screwdriver and like a drill and like a saw, you would just use the hammer, you know? They just mashed back three. They also mashed back three. That was one of the buttons they mashed. Um, back three. Also... Back three mashing has not changed. What else do they do? They There's like. Hit. Danny managing to uh, find his offense back a little bit. Oh, it was four four three. That was the other button they mashed all the time. And while um, while rising one foot two. Okay. Was there like the ask of mash button? Good. Be careful, Minori is in rage, which means they will be using rage card at some point. Never mind, they are dead. Dead? Killed to death. Killed to death. Died so hard that you died to death. Died so hard, motherfucker. Honestly, like if I if I was bad. Minori here, I would just like keep running fucking unblockable, like Oki Why the hell not? resets. Like your opponent has to prove they can deal with it. Uh, see, I was using um, singular A. Ooh, nice. Going for the low to beat the power crush. I don't know. Grammar's hard. I'll figure it out. Nice, nice. Oh, that's pretty bad, bro. Okay, don't see that too often. Oh my god, the down one plus two. Oh, I, what was, was that like a trap? I don't know. I'm not sure uh, how much of that was uh, guaranteed. Uh, the down one plus two is not. The throw was, and then everything after that was mm. not. Uh, uh, hold on a second, chat. I'll be right back. Alright. Okay, uh, parry into forward three reset. Whoa. Uh, that is safe on block. Uh, that is not a punish. 
I think Asuka dies. No, she lives, just barely. For those that are unaware, um, Asuka down back one, which is the sort of like low reaching punch where she leans her whole body down, has a mid follow up that is launch punishable and a high follow up that is ducked and launchable. So if you're not hit confirming the string, it's actually quite dangerous. If you are fighting a lot of Askas online, that's definitely one of the defensive measures you would want to practice. Nice to uh, run up, plant the seed into Jackhammer to finish it. Great raw tooth fairy hit. Okay, up forward. Whoa. Final round. Fight. Nice uh, God. Missed with the combo. That's a big, big punish. I would have just gone for the down for it too, but that's why I'm not uh, mighty ruler rank. It's a Baki mad hat. It's like true. Ah, oh, you go for it. Yeah! But the heat smash takes it. Hi, Chad, I'm back. Uh, we got Dandy up 2 1. Nice job. Dandy is up 2 1. Raining it in a little bit more. Um, playing like a little bit. a little less wild, I think. Mm -hmm. And just like. controlling the space in front of him. I think that's the main difference that we saw, is that Danny was more willing to play like these keep out moves and to not let Minori get away with charging unblockables or pressing slow moves. It's important to get buttons out on the screen, everybody. Absolutely. I hope we get announcer mods for Tekken 8, like Tekken 7. I used to have the low tier god one. You, I would get like, well, it was the one. The NBA Jam one, that's a classic one that yeah. everyone had. I mean, the first thing they would do is they would sell us, like, old Tekken game announcers if they did, like, an official thing, you know? Yeah, and then they would have, like, Tasty Steve. Yeah, then Tasty Steve. Then probably, like, Rip or something. And, um, whoever handles their Japanese commentary. But for, like, mods, I think it's just up to the modders to figure things out. I'm actually kind of surprised that they've taken that long to set something up, because, um... It should be, like, pretty similar to 7, right? An inconsiderate raccoon announcer mod. Make it so if you get a perfect, it puts the fucking, like, samurai cat in a <laughs> Yeah, dead game. Nobody's playing this game. Everybody moved back to Tekken 7. Because they realized nah, they that they moved was to peak. Rivals of Ether 2. That's true, yeah. Rivals of Ether 2, uh, 2x KO, uh, Street Fighter 6, Maple Story. Maple Story. Just the first one, though. Yeah, Maple Story 2 is wiggity whack. Uh, I am saying, however, nice. Uh, weird pickup there. Oh my god. Was there an unselling Tekken 8 meme going around? Maybe. Uh, there like... was, yeah. It was like... it. I mean, here's the thing. If a game goes on too long without getting, like, patch notes, people start dooming about it. And specifically, it has to be the patch that they want. Yeah. It can't be, like, a good patch. It has to be a patch that nerfs the thing they hate. Yeah. Uh, and not a buff. No one cares about buffs. They no one cares about buffs. They want the thing to be hated. They want uh, Dragonov to get nerfed. They want Nina to get nerfed. They want Jin to get nerfed. They want, they want whoever want most Yoshimitsu, recently beat them. Yoshimitsu to get nerfed. Uh, they want Devil Jin to get buffed. Yeah, this is a Persona costume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But I'll say this, like, 
For as many qualms they have with 7 Tekken 8 stuff, I'd rather play Tekken 8 than Tekken 7. I mean, just Tekken because of the way yeah. that the online works, I would rather play Tekken 8 than Tekken 7. Even if I consider Tekken 7 to be, like, a way better game than Tekken 8, like, the fact that the lobbies are like that, and the online is like that, it doesn't not make me want to go back to that game, like, ever again. I just don't want to play a game that has, like, Tekken 7's low parry and magic for it. As long as I can live without that, I'm happy. E4U is the best anime fighter? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's alright. It's alright. It's kind of no Kusuke. It's kind of Kusuke, but in a way that's fun. Oh, that's gonna hit. I don't. Then that'll that'll, that'll kill you. Yeah. in the slot with the, the down back one into the full crouch flow charge. I think that Dandy needs to stay cognizant of the fact that if Minori has the ability to rage art, they will rage art. And if they do not see that it's connect, they will they will hold rage art. So you need to remember that. So like you just have to play around the rage art. It is a very important thing to remember. Woo! Anti-Aska 101. Um, Aska has a lot of strings that end in highs. Mm. For example, down back 1, 2, down back 4, 3. You gotta learn these and you gotta duck them, because Aska players are not hit confirming these. I guarantee you they're not. Mm. Well, like, it, I play Aska yeah. and I don't hit confirm them. Yeah, I mean, why hit confirm a string when it works, you know? It's free real estate. If it's not getting ducked, there's no reason to hit confirm it. You have to put in... The thing is, is that, chat, you have to put in as much effort as your opponent is putting in. If you are, if you are operating on a way higher level than your opponent is, then you are going to overexert yourself. You're going to overthink situations. You know? You have to operate on the level that, um your opponent is operating at. That's true with every fighting game, not just Tekken 8. Like, um, what's that famous, what's that famous set? It's, uh, LSP versus Gandhi or whatever, you know? True. Yeah. Like, LSP is, like, so focused on, like, running, like, their stupid offense not, like, punishing the obvious, like, punishable stuff, and not even, like, thinking, like, oh, this guy, this guy is, like, just being, a, like, a, an idiot and just, like, sure you getting all over the place. Like, he's getting caught in his own head, you know? And that is one of the biggest issues that I see intermediate fighting game players fall into, is they get caught up in their own head. They're not thinking about what their opponent is doing. They're thinking about what they're doing and what they're reacting to. Mm -hmm. Another problem intermediate players are having, and one that specifically Dandy is having. Uh, Dandy is getting the health lead and then running in and then getting counter hit. Yeah, that is very true. He's also, uh, he's also being a little bit predictable with his lows, which is why Minori is able to get so many of these, uh, low pair, uh, low sabaki or whatever they're called, off. It's, uh, being recognizable. Okay, goes for the throw. Goes for the low. Yeah. Gets it. So, in any game, if you have a sizable enough health lead, I highly recommend just backing away. You have no reason to take the fight to them. Okay. You're winning. I mean, Jack has, like... Jack is so good at controlling the space in front of him. You know? Yeah, like, in this situation, I would just hold here and just be calm. Like... What is Asuka going to do while running 1 plus 2? I don't give a shit. While running 1 plus 2, forward forward 2 to try and like bait a whiff. Like Asuka is kind of at the mercy of the other player when they have like the uh, significant life disadvantage. Because yeah, of the way the way that uh, she operates as a character. Asuka really wants to like take her turn back. Mm. Um, miss punish on the four two, miss punish on the four two again, but on the other character. Yeah. When Jack goes, yeah, and he slams his uh, open palm forward. If you block that, he's minus twelve. 
Uh, Aska gets a 2-3 there. Okay. It's a really good punish. Oh. oh, no. You gotta have those DF2s in your back pocket. You've got such a long range. Ooh, it hits the wall there. Beautiful. And goes for the Oki. Score is 4-1. I'm breaking the throws. What is going on? Um, most likely you're either mispressing or it's a leg issue. It could be a latency problem, yeah. This is cross cross continent. Also, the thing you have to remember, if you say I broke that throw and you didn't break that throw, you didn't break that throw. Here's the thing. When Here's I say I broke that, what I'm saying is I don't do fucking macros. So I, in my head, I'm like one plus two, but I pressed the one like a one frame earlier and then I failed the break. Apparently that's a little bit more lenient in Tekken 8. Get ready for the next battle. I know, but I still make the mistake. Yeah, yeah I, I do too. Or I do like my... two and then one and it's like, oh. Anyways, uh, the beach episode is ready. I hope everyone brought their bikinis. Oh yeah. Jack beach is episode. bikinied up. Uh, from the martini app, I guess. Uh, yeah. Fight. We did not. We are currently on our first set, Zaki. Mm. So in this situation, like, you you have no reason to go in, right? Sure. Let the opponent go to you. That's what I'd recommend for Dandy if you're rewatching this watch. And that's, I mean, that's kind of exactly what he's doing right now, so. Exactly. Yeah. Doing a good job of like uh, controlling space, saying, "Hey, you gotta come to me." And then doing some big Mario yeah. jumps. Now the big thing is like Oscar just like ran up and grabbed you. You're like, you think to yourself, "What can I throw out that's non-committal to discourage that behavior?" You know. Oh, two one is a beautiful jab string for controlling space in front of you. You can also do a back two. Um. Yeah. Goes for the armor. Okay. One of the advantages to doing 2 1 as Jack is if Asuka does like a oh, power. Goes for the stomp. Gets grabbed. I think that's a 2 break. Is that right? That's the 1 plus 2. Okay. The 2 break is where she like holds you for like a half second and then slams you onto the ground. Mm, gotcha. Okay. okay, 1 plus 2 break. Lows, 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 load. Oh my god. Fully charged Run down up, back too. Bro, this should going kill. To yep. You're dead. Round three. Fight. Okay. Good round start. Yeah, plus oh. one plus two as well. Gotta be punishing those four pushes. Down card one, two. Good grab. Hates the parry. Goes from low. Gets the guaranteed damage afterwards. I get some Agro Asuka play. Okay. Oh no! Oh, that would have been that, that would have been a very big uh, whiff if uh, Dandy had the uh, the F2 on lockdown there. Yeah, it might be a latency thing on here. It, yeah, it's there. yeah, that is very true. That is very true. That a lot of these, uh, a lot of these failed punishes are probably the connection. Goes for the jump. Okay. Machi, machi. These throws are all landing. All up in those joints. Yo, look at the wheel, though. Yeah. It's a baby fucking wheel, Jay. You know that. What's that? I said it's a baby fucking wheel day. I was wondering if you know that. I don't know that. Oh, it's really important. Set point versus survival point nope. too. That is, that's true. This is set point versus survival point. Hell okay. yeah. Good punish on Thank the uh, back three. Oh. Weird interaction. I like him in Tekken Ooh, 7, but I thought that Gigas was quite fun. Yeah, Gigas Jack is, is pretty sort of fun, like a yeah. hybrid of Gigas and Jack now. Oh. And hold it down, back to neutral. Is that reaching from there? Oh! The heat burst goes through the armor. Shoulder, 
and uses the plus frames to clutch it out. Nice here, nice here. All right. The rivalry between these two continues for another day. Mm -hmm. I really okay. like the adjustment Dandy made after the first set. I think it was very smart. I agree. I agree. Um, let's see here. Who else is around that wants to fight? Um, we've got. Is uh is Kyojin Kid here in the uh, chat? This guy fighting Gooner Main by the name of I Miss Heihachi is a <laughs> fair weather Heihachi fan. Because it's like, you miss Heihachi when he's coming back. Get real. Okay. Where were you eight months ago? Um, Do you want to hop into the server here? It's America 2001 is the fight lounge. And we're over here on the Xiaoyu cabinet. And you're going to be fighting Warbane. I'm going to give uh, Jupes until the end of this set to get here. And then we will uh, figure something out with uh, Solar. So yeah, it's going to be uh, Vorbane and uh, Kyojin Kid here on the uh, Shayu cabinet. Listen, I can always sub in. I'm ready. If you want to fight Solar, you're uh, more than welcome to. We just have to uh, see if Jupes is planning on showing up or not. Yeah, I got a... Well, what's the quote? What's the fundamental bear quote that he used to pose? I don't know what he said. Uh, I don't remember. You guys... You know what I mean, though, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, Kyojin Kid. And down the flight, everyone like it's hard mode if people don't show up. That's crazy. I don't have. Well, hold on. I... Let me check the spreadsheet. I haven't updated that damn thing in like several months. Yeah. I'm so busy. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, no. Kyojin Kid is not on here. Um, so when you're available. To do so. Oh no! Wait, never mind. Your pronouns are in your Discord bio. I can just use those. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who uses uh, the Discord bio to actually um, put their uh, preferred pronouns in there. It's very Does convenient mine's... to uh, us as uh, as tournament organizers. Does mine still say like the like the maple? No, not the maple. The Runeski quote, like the Japanese. Runescape guy? Um, yeah, yours says, I am average American woman, I enjoy bad, skate, bad game Runescape. Oh yeah, I love that quote. That one's really good, that one's like 4chan or something. Yeah, And they're like making like, fun of Americans in like Japanese or something. It, I, I'm pretty sure it was like on 2chan, but it was like <laughs> just some... <laughs> some Japanese guy just like... Get he hates Americans. <laughs> All right, we got Zafina versus Law. You cannot grab the Zaf. It's honestly insane how true that is. And the thing is, this is a classic Round matchup one. going to the prequel game uh, uh, of Tekken Zero. Yeah, absolutely. Look at the duck on the three plus four. Kyojin Kid ready. Absolutely. Kyojin no Kid knows things. Orbane does have a lot of Safina experience, that is true. That is true. That is true. You cannot... You can't not look down upon the yellow rank players of Kinder Jam. Yeah. There are, there are two of us. <laughs> That's more than two, I think. Nice breaks. Yeah, that was a generic that Orbane just threw. Okay, we're going for the... We're going for the crawly crawly shit. Oh. Orbane knows how to hit that, though. Mm -hmm. Okay, good blocks. Gets the punish. That should kill. Yep, nice job. Vorbane terrifies me. He, like, he honestly, should. Danny, he should. Like, 
That, that means he's doing his job correctly. He what should terrify move you. move selection is like better than you would possibly imagine. Like he'll press a button and you get hit by it and you're like, damn, I would have never thought to press that. The back one, uh, one plus two just free mender. As a Zathena main myself, I can respect this greatly. Oh, good. Good usage of the uh, power crush there. I feel like nunchucks is Law's answer to everything. Like, am I wrong about that? Pretty good button. Round four. Good button. It's pretty good button, yeah. Five. Uh, it is minus 13 though, so do keep in mind Cassia players are launching you for that. Yeah, every time. Oh. Do they like this tarantula stance? Very... I like it. I like it. Okay. Oh, it goes for the low. Eat smash. You win. And Kyojin Kid takes game one. This is your fate. A very nice adaptation from Kyojin Kid. Mm -hmm. He shows like, a, obviously as a Tekken King player, there's going to be like a very high degree of character expertise, but it's Absolutely. like, it's the familiarity at the range of the tarantula options, especially when combined with moving, that's really impressive to watch. Like, a lot of these tarantula mids are hitting, like, perfectly spaced just at the tip. <laughs> that is the thing that you... Nice stuff on that, by the way. That is the thing that you need to remember with your character is that, um, not only knowing your effective range, but also the range at which things are and are not potentially punishable. You think the tarantula down for it to heat dash to finish the game off? Oh, Oops. not quite the right. That's a little too soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, this route is crazy. Oh, <laughs> just slightly dropped. It. I was like, wait. That that felt like a uh, that felt like a little bit of a uh, freeform combo to me, like freeform jazz combo. Absolutely, that's mm -hmm. like the calling and combo oh, route that you go for. When it's like the fucking strangest hit you've ever seen in your mm -hmm. life. Yojin like, Kid is saying, "I know how to break throws. You best not be throwing me." Oops. Nice hit. Little punish there. Those in kids starting to look out for the stomp and try to float it. Okay, good interrupt there. Last hit. Oh, that is death on block. I'm pretty sure Zafina can even launch that. Oh, big interrupt there. Oh, good sidestep, and that should. Yep, that'll do it. Eat first to save a combo so then you need to get under my fingers more. It's mm. a really good habit to get into. It's also just good to do just because like, even if it doesn't save your combo, even if it's just sort of like a superfluous addition, you're in heat after. So it's like you have an okay situation with heat. That's really good. Yeah. Like, you want to be in that situation to begin with. Something that is important to keep in mind with um, using heat burst mid combo is that it will um, negatively impact the scaling of the damage but it will definitely set up an advantageous position on uh, on uh, Oki afterwards, if you use it correctly. Yeah. So, for example, for the bears, the bears are very known for their, uh, their post-tornado damage. Um, whereas if you do this heat, uh, you do like a heat burst to get into heat quickly and then do your ender, the scaling is going to negatively impact that. So if you battle. are at the wall, it might be better not to do it in that case. But look at your character and ski like in the combo where is the damage coming from is it coming from the beginning or is it coming from the post tornado state mm. also just like if you're ever not really sure how to incorporate the burst into a combo um round one using it as your initial wall hit is always a good idea mm -hmm. because it ends up with you using your wall ender like normal and you're in heat afterwards. It's just a win-win situation. Win, it's done. Love that analogy. It's like there, yeah, players see? love this move. Gojin Kid just demonstrated, like, what I was talking about. Nice punish. Mm. 
I think Safina's down forward one four is the craziest looking move in the game. There are a lot of crazy looking moves, so I would have to see I would have to see an argument for that. Well, the next time it shows up, I'll point it out to oh. you in the chat. Nice too. Going into Ranchal and just holding it to check. Yeah, to so bait very, that with there. It's a very good thing that players who have like low stances can do. Can Leo do that? Um, kind of. Leo kind of has the. I want to say the weakest like of uh, AOP. Yeah. But uh, because uh, Leo cannot uh, duck while in AOP. Whereas Tarantula is just naturally really, really low to the ground. And uh, Xiaoyu kind of has like the best of both worlds where she can kind of like move around and duck while she's in uh, AOP there. Mm -hmm. Leo's is uh, probably the most limited, but um, I mean, the fact that, look, the fact that Leo has it just in general is a useful tool in itself, so. You just have to understand how to incorporate it into your move pool. If they hit the ground with a low slump, will he first re-splat them? I believe so. It doesn't, like... You have to be, like, a certain height off the wall. If they're, like, slumping, and it's, like, that post-wall OTG hit, then... You'll just be in heat and they're on the ground, but like if they're if their back is to like the wall and they're still like sliding down it, then it should resplat it, depending on where you're at in your combo route. It's something I would recommend people experiment with on their own and see what it looks like. Ooh, good duck on that. And the launch. She is a string knower. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Learning how Whoa, to... Oh, that is a crazy box jump. What the hell? <laughs> Learning how to incorporate uh, ducks into your defensive game plan will really kind of fundamentally change how you defend against characters. Once you incorporate ducking and sidestepping, now you're cooking with fucking gas. Absolutely. And Kilsen is showing that, like, very exhaustively, how you can incorporate these little movements that make a huge difference in the overall pace of the game. Uh, other good players to watch that do this really well, Alien is really good at yeah. incorporating ducks and, like, little sidesteppies. And, uh... Rebrand is a very strong ducker. Well, Rebrand is like the best player we have. Um, I think, yeah. The only others I can think of are um, Sophie and Octagon, but uh, neither of them enter these events, so. For now. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe we'll get them back in the ring. Maybe. I think Sophie is yeah, busy running uh, her events, so it's the likelihood of her showing up to one of ours seems kind of limited right now. True. That's why we'll have to go even bigger. Mm -hmm. We'll have to get the number one most beloved name in Tekken. Heihachi. Exactly. Dylan O'Brien. Yeah. D.O.B. We're on the, the exact battle. same page here. He was in Teen Wolf. Was he? Yeah, Dylan O'Brien. I'm sorry, I'm looking that up. Fight. Okay, who do you think is better dressed for this scenario? Because, like, Zafina's got, like, the, the bikini for the waves, but I feel like Vorpain's better dressed for the apocalypse. So oh, they're both like on even ground here. Yeah, he was a team wolf. I am, I knew him from the the maze runner. Oh. Yeah. Once you want to go see that in the theater. It was not that good. But well, they made like three admit, more of them. You have to admit, Dylan O'Brien is very attractive. Absolutely. There's no denying that. And he's gonna be in Howard Estate. Absolutely. Next 
Friday. <laughs> I neither, love the banana peel there. Yeah, neither of these players are well dressed for being in this situation. I think they're both like almost good enough dressed to the point where it's like Oh, good luck. Someone failed to get the correct memo, you know what I mean? Yeah, like there was a miscommunication somewhere. Like, the thing is, like, I thought we were going to the beach. Like, we we were going to the coastline. What's going on? And Vorbane's like, I thought we were here for, like, the apocalypse. Like, what's happening? What's happening as it is? What's happening? What's happening? Hi, Alex. Welcome. Welcome to Violent Systems. Welcome, Alex. Team KNR. Alex, welcome. Absolutely devastating series of blows. What? Going for the one plus two. We got the stomp. Okay, uh, we do one. have... Uh, away. We do have jupes available. They are joining up soon momentarily. Nunchucks. Oh. Woo! Horror games like I refuse to die. Set point versus survival I will survival not go point. zero five. Not even. That's true. It's open. Okay. Get the wall splat. Nice adjustment to get a good wall angle there. Oh. Uh, not patient enough. The big thing I would say that kills Vorbane is not. Zafina. Well, besides Zafina, is um. Not wanting to wait, like, his turn in, like, after he's in the middle of a, uh, a block string or something like that, you know? Oh, nice punish on the, on the nunchaku. It is the fate of the wild child to be susceptible to the frame trap, unfortunately. But it's also the fate of the wild trap to a bari out and then get a combo for some reason. That is absolutely true. It's a double-edged sword. You live life on the razor's, razor's edge. Mm -hmm. All right, Kyojin Kid takes it 5-0. Thank you so much for joining and filling in. Uh, I really appreciate the uh, last minute substitution. Yeah, Kyojin Kid was really strong. I hope we see her more in the events, both the ones that we run and also the ones that we don't. All right. Um, let's see. So up next, we got uh, Jupes and Solar here. Gonna be oh, a this is gonna be a good really set. good one. Mm -hmm. After that'll be uh, Bougie and Alien with uh, Ducky and Rebrand running it out. Let me get the scorecard set up here, and I will step away for uh, a moment to refill my water here. Danny says, I love watching Fort Bane man hangs in there. Absolutely. Danny Absolutely. also prefers Zafina's outfit for the end of the world to laws. Here's the thing about Vorbane. Never give up. Never surrender. It's not over till Warbane. it's over. Warbane did take a game against Octagon one time. Yeah. I will say that. Warbane has the capacity to take a round versus anybody. Has the capacity to take a game battle. versus anybody. That's the thing you have Warbane to remember. Warbane's been grinding on this Lydia. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to let this sit, and I'll be back momentarily. Nodaba. Right, now this is a lore match. Uh, both of these characters do exist within the Tekken canon. So it'll be interesting to see how they face off in this Clash of the Titans. Okay, we've got a Aaron's Electric that manages to hit. We are going to the wall. I heard their rivals in the story as possible. Nice! 
big hit. Goes for the political store and just keep it and then simple. And alternate keep smash hit. Oh my god. Solar just immediately popping the heat smash to check the wave dash. That was very smart. Ooh, what a weird trade, but it worked out for Jupes here. Jupes winning with just Pexel. Yeah, a bit of a weird angle. Jupes not able to pick up on it. Come back too to interrupt the stances. We got the big hop. Oh my god, Raw Political Storm gets three ring circus for the endeavor. Nice dude, lame duck into the counter hit confirm. And then finishes off with the mid out of heaven in our sense. That is one stack on deck. For those that haven't slab versus Lydia extensively, whenever Lydia uh performs certain actions such as going into the heaven and earth, earth stands in general uh what she can do off a number of different transitions her heaven and earth counter goes up and the higher it is the more damage some of her moves do and the more heat she retains when she does these transitions so if lydia is able to get full stacks her heat becomes very overwhelming dupes however managing to take it with a smothering offense Finishing off with some wall oki and getting the kill. This is a very crispy wave dash. One of the crispiest I've ever seen. It's like Karage. It's like um the one video where Griffin McElroy bites into a banana with the peel on. That's how crispy it is. Oh, nice break. Niji Maniacs, look how Duke puts the Weibu Instant Wall Sling 2. Weibu Instant Wall Sling 2 is a ridiculously hard thing to pull off. Nice interrupt, though. With the right combo, this will kill. It doesn't, but we have a mix-up. Goes for the unblockable. And it is all tied up. Final round, two stacks on board for Comrade Solar. This is still just game one. Down Jack to interrupt. Oh my god. 1-1-2 one, one, into the wave dash mix. Hop kicks out of it. We are going to the wall. Unfortunate drop here. But we get to the wall anyways. The spring kick lands and he dash. What is the mix? Goes mid. 1-1-2. One, one, Morning pro. Laser. Red Solar taking it. Game one. In an extremely close back and forth game. Solar finding these key buttons to get out of these pressure sequences and start his own offense. And with it, able to take game one. Let's see how Juice Melody is able to react. While everyone else discusses some sort of war between Nebraska and Poland, I don't know what's happening. Solar's getting dangerous. Always has been. Solar's a Kinder Gym champion. Raw Political Storm is landing in neutral. We're doing some big stance mixes. Raw transition out of the Heaven and Earth stance just to further complicate the matter. Alright, good defense against the Morning Crow stance. Laser Scraper final hit is connecting. Electric is going to land, but it is a weird wall angle. Electric, Electric. Excellent dream for Solar. Any hit will kill. Lame duck. And Jupes takes it. Terrifying. Now, the lows, that low right there, um, red tape is on counter hit, gives you this additional follow up. But the main low that Solar is going for is you will guarantee heat engage on, on counter hit and also high pressure. Note how Solar places it strategically in the neutral to avoid Jupes to the electric. Very smart use of the high cry. Right, 
big heap smash to take the round. Round three, it is neck and neck. Nice, Dale. Putting a button out on the board there just to interrupt some of these errant moves coming in. But Juice finds it. Goes for four electrics. That is crazy. Chat, I just came back to four electrics. What the hell is going on here? What's the uh, score, and by the way? Winning. It's 1 0 for Solar. Nice. Good job, Solar. It's obviously because Devil Jin is such a weak character. I'm just kidding. Yeah, Devil Jin is like a weak character in the so, of seven days. Is this funny? Very, very weak character. To quote JDCR. Solar is a bad dude with a dude. It's very true nice that this is up. true. Solar's fighting a lot of these hop kicks to check some of the wave dash approaches. Solar is not a bad enough dude to be to save the president. He's a bad enough dude to play as the president. That's true. Yeah. That's why Solar's main is G in Street Fighter V, the president of Earth. As performed nice. by Del the Funky Homo Sapien. Man, I haven't heard a reference to Del the Funky Homo Sapien in like a year. Yeah. That is the obscure reference. Going mid off the Heaven Earth, note that all the stacks are up. What did you think of 3040? I was pretty disappointed by it. I have not heard it. Gotcha. It's kinda it's kinda like not Woo. the magic is gone, you know. Excellent and dream for Solar and nice, gets nice. hit mid. Well, new as in it came out like 10 years ago. Uh, no, Ducky, you are not up after this set. There is one more before you. So uh, just to make sure I have the scoreboard right, it's 1-1, uh, one, one, right? It is 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It is 1-1 one, one, and both of those were like... Down to the game. wire. Close though. Heaven and Earth 2 being plus 6 is a little bit ridiculous. It's a, it's a silly little move. It's, it's a character, a it's a character design choice, I'll say that. I actually don't think it's that egregious. I don't either, but it's just like the context of like everything else surrounding it is the thing, you know? It's like, um, Heaven and Earth 2 didn't fall out of a coconut tree is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, but it's also like her heat thing and you yeah. can power crush it to call it out. Yeah. Like, I don't hate it. I don't hate it either. The thing is, is like, people, people are very on edge about plus frames into stance mix up right now, you know? Oh my god, raw political. Sorry, no <laughs> that was punish. the wrong punish, but okay. Oh, oh my god, that was a raw political storm that hit and Solar did not commit. Ah. Solar is throwing out these raw political storms. Like, if you pretend. If you pretend that it's safe on block, it might be safe on block, chat. This is the power of suggestion. Oh, you're dead. Good use of the uh, charge up move there, by the way, from uh, Jupes. I feel like Devil Jin absolutely listens to Brad, Fuji. like 100%. I think Devil Jin has a lot more of a hyper pop focused iPod playlist than he wants you to think he does. Oh, absolutely. If people don't punish, throw, throw it out. Yeah, yeah like, I've been saying this whole time. Like, just fucking send it. If your opponent punishes it, then you say my bad. My B, bro. Punish it. Just do it. Why play Devil Jin when you could play Heihachi Mishima in approximately three days or approximately six days if you did not buy the big expensive edition of Tekken 8? When you watch okay, that was a good punish, though. It was. That was a very strong with punish. Regular Jin probably listens to goddamn Exorcist and Tatsuya. Absolutely. Hi, Tainaba. Welcome. Devil Jin absolutely does not listen to uh, Triple X Tenation. 
You know what? Fucking regular Jin listens to like the depressing juice world song. <laughs> he just looks at like his fans. <laughs> He's just playing lucid dreams and looking at his fans. <laughs> In an empty room. <laughs> do you think that do you think that regular Jin tries to like get high using like MP3 files like iDosing? Um, I think he does. I, I think he did in Tekken three. <laughs> in Tekken three, he figured <laughs> yeah. out that it, he figured out that it was a scam after that. Shall you tell him what's a scam? <laughs> Show you Get pulls out like a pure of you. <laughs> okay. That was a very decisive game for Dude's Melody. Let's see how Solar wins uh, with the Carmen Santiago skin dressed for the stage. I do like got... this. I do like this outfit. Yeah, it's definitely more red. We're on the red stage. Nice. We are on the red stage. Tekken 8 is red. Nice quadruple oh electric God. there, by the way. Right, they throw you. I need, I need a poll. I need someone to make a poll in chat. Between Jin and Devil Jin, who do you think can roll a better joint? I need the answer to this. The community needs to help me decide on the answer to this. Uh, it's Jin, but Devil Jin thinks he, he does. Jin I need thinks it. he does worse. <laughs> the answer may surprise you, chat. Nice combo. Yep. Both the lows. We got, we got lows here. Stop doing that. Who oh, Among Us hasn't had a moment when you're like, man, I should take a pole dancing class. Right? I think everybody I think everybody has thought it has contemplated this at least once. Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good sidewalk. Though. Nice sidewalk. Gets a side throw too. Mm -hmm. Very cool. You don't see DLC characters with side throws that often, honestly. That's true. But you have to keep in mind, Lydia's a returning veteran character. That's true. Head. That's true. Lydia has a long and storied history in Tekken. Having appeared in one other game as the last DLC character. Absolutely. Throws up the first. Ooh, that's oh big damage. God. That's big damage right there. Okay, we are at level three. Will it matter mo long enough for this round? It did not. All right, Solar ties it up. So it's like, you 3 owe me? Nah, I 3 owe you. I 3 owe you. 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 Does anybody recognize that iconic hip hop reference? I do. I'm, I'm familiar with the works of Dr. Boy. Oh, I thought you were going to say Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, um, hang on, let me try to do Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Doctor, oh, some Marvel 2 stuff. Dr. S-Boy. I just think it's really funny that, like, historically everyone agrees that Marvel 2 had a pretty good soundtrack, but, like, at the time, everybody thought it sucked ass, and they just put Crank That Rock Remix on their, on their Dreamcast instead. To be fair, I would put Crank That Rock Remix on like, <laughs> versus like 95% of music that exists in the world. That is a very fair, that is a very fair um, counter argument. According to the old heads who uh, tell the story, there was apparently just like one really popular CD rip that had like the custom music, nice uh, Sabaki there, that like it, it had like the the music like pre-baked into it and like everybody just used that rip like and downloaded it because it had all the characters on it and so that's the reason why it was so popular and everywhere is just because like everybody just stole like the same zip file Absolutely. Mm -hmm. this set is extremely violent i agree with you Alex. it really is i don't even really feel like i need to comment on it because it just like speaks for itself at the moment 
I always get nervous about that laser because, like, it feels half the time it's gonna whip, even though I know it's gonna hit, you know? Oh, they counter hit there. Okay. Oh, goes for the backswing. Oh. The dive kick is hitting, and now the health sweeps are starting to come Oh, no. Are fully charged. Fully charged means it's unblockable, I believe. That should be dead. Yeah, you're dead now. Nice. And Jupes is like, I can 3 0 mm -hmm. Back to back 3 0s after. These like... two are just taking turns steamrolling each other. It's very fun to watch. Ah, uh, you know what, chat? I just realized. I was like, okay, I've definitely done everything I need to do to set up my stream tonight. I did not realize until just now that I had Violent Systems from two weeks ago as the title. Wow. So now I'm gonna have to go in. Now I'm gonna have to go in and edit the bot afterwards so that the title's not wrong. Wow. What if we got Jaden Smith to be in Violent Systems? Do you think he'd be good or bad? Hmm. Jaden Smith. Jaden Smith. What to commentate? No, like as a player. Oh, like as a player. Yeah. In, in Violent Systems? Yeah, Jaden Smith. I don't think he would do very well. I don't think he plays this game. Are you sure, though? Like, do you really, truly believe he doesn't play this game? Yeah, I truly do believe that. I don't think Jaden Smith, like, plays video games. I think he has, like, disdain for, like, media as a concept. Jaden Smith seems like a Rivals of Ether fan more than a Tekken fan. No, Jaden Smith seems like the kind of guy that insists that he was like really good in Smash Brothers, but will never play anybody. And like he says, he picks like a, a mid-tier character. <laughs> oh, goes for the dash electric pickup there. Neo Yokio he gave us so much Q. as a society. It re it single-handedly revitalized the big Toblerone, honestly. Nice. I love a Toblerone. Big while standing while standing two is unsafe on block, correct? Chad? Like, there is a punish that Solar should be doing here with while standing two for Devil Jin, right? Or did they make it? Yeah, it's minus 12, so you can do like a lot as a Lydia. Lydia has the punish for every frame, but you can also just do one, two, two, because one, two, two is fucking good. Oh, it's the. need to get him. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't like going crazy here, because I do remember it was minus in Tekken 7, but I don't know exactly what the frame data change was. Nice triple electric there. Yeah, it feels like Jupes has been practicing uh, the dash electric pickups in preparation for Heihachi. And That's why shouldn't you? Of. Why shouldn't you practice the dash electrics? Listen, I want to do five electrics into like Wallander. I miss omens. I have good news regarding omens uh, in the next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big hit. That's guaranteed. Going to heaven and earth. Going into heaven and earth. Oh, big counter hit. Oh, that's another big counter hit. I think with the right combo, you're dead here. Oh, shit, I recharted. No, not you, the other guy. <laughs> yeah. This set is a roller coaster chat. It absolutely is. Nice is, lift punish. Is my scorecard right? Is it 2-3? Right. Okay. Oh, it's just like a little bit too low to the ground. I wonder if they'll keep the 4-3 into all thing 4 tech when Heihachi comes back. I honestly couldn't tell you. I know a couple of influencers got early hands on time with the characters, so if you can track one of those down, you can maybe see if they talked about it. Nice combo. Oh, uh, not quite. Uh, Forward one killing on its own rarely ever happens. That is true, you don't see that too much. Alright, Jupes pulling ahead of the pack. Brawl Pro put out a video. Okay.
wonder what Lil Majin's up to. I hope he's having a good time. Seems like he doesn't like Tekken 8. It's tough for people who don't like Tekken 8. Because, like, everybody says just go back to Tekken 7. But, like, you gotta have people to play in Tekken 7. You know? Get ready for the next battle. Well, they have, um... Net play on Tekken 5 DR and emulator now. They do. It's not rollback, but it is something. And it is, um... They are making progress with it, which is a good thing. So the boomers still have something. Yeah. I am interested in playing Tekken 5 DR once they get rollback working for that, because that game is very fun from what I played of it. It's a very different game, though, I will say. Like, for people who played, like, a lot of Tekken 7 and a lot of Tekken 8 to, like, just expect to pick it up, like... It is not... It is not the same game. It is a very yeah, different game. They don't got no bounds. There's no, like, heat, no power crushes. Yeah. No rage arts. The damage is fucking stupid on that game. Yeah, like, you don't need any of that shit because you just kill someone in, like, six hits. It's crazy. Nice. Good with punish. The MVC what? collection, I was thinking about buying it when I got paid again, which was today, but, um, I, I don't think that is in the cards anymore. <laughs> Unless the cards are like Bellatro. Oh yeah. Like Bellatro. Shouts out to Bellatro. Mobile edition now out. King Kane R says it's great and I've been playing it. Yeah, he loves Bellatro. We love Bellatro. I actually haven't been playing Bellatro um, a lot because I did Gold Stake and I did like a few of the challenges and it's like, I don't have that many legs. I played like 10 hours of it on Steam and I was like, oh, this is the kind of game that I need to play in bed on a tablet. And I was like, I'll just wait until it's on the tablet so I can play it in bed on the tablet. And guess what? It's on the tablet now, so I can play it in bed on the tablet. Hey. Did counter hit there? Nice you gotta stop just throwing out political scores. Why? He's not getting punished for it. Someday he will. Well, then he'll stop it then. <laughs> That's true. Oh, autopiloted yeah. that a little bit. Oh yeah. No! Uh, you could have died there. <laughs> oh my god, is oh that gonna god, hit? Yo! Oh <laughs> Alright. I can't tell, I can't, like, that was BM, but I don't know from which character it was BM. Listen, all I'll say is this. I love the bird. Me too. That's a cool ranger. Oh. Woo! Nice I think Jupes is getting a little silly here. Either that or we're having some input errors. Which is entirely possible. I think Jupes always plays a little silly though. Jupes does play pretty silly. That is one of like, the things right I appreciate there. about him. Jupes is mechanically perfect, but also very silly, is like the thing. The one of my one of my pet peeves is Players who have the ability to play solid fundamentals, but they play too silly. Jupes is like the perfect blend of good fundamentals, but also can play a little silly, I think, you know? I can't believe I'm your pet peeve. No, it's not you. I'm sub I'm subtweeting someone in Kinder Gym right now, but I won't say who it is. It's me. It's not you. It's not London either. It's out of London. You play London. You play so. You I... play so fundamental with Shao Yu. What the hell are you talking about? I've never seen London do so much as like a single thing that wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah, Is that it was risky. Yeah, I was like, it's no. It's not you it either. Not you. It's nobody. It's nobody that's in this chat. Is what I will say. I know who it is, by the way. Um. Yeah. It's Asuka Kazama. It, it's not Asuka Kazama. As much as I dislike Asuka Kazama, I am not subtweeting her. Alien says, I think I know who's being referred to. Yep, shouts out to, um... Asuka Kazama. Shouts out to the enemy, Asuka Kazama. 
the ops. And it's like, because I thought I was playing serious. You do play serious. You do serious play serious, yeah. If you want to see a non-serious Jack, I will show you what a non-serious Jack looks like. The only thing that I really don't like that you do is, like, plant the seeds. But, I mean, it does have uses, so I'm not going to, like, call you out for it. Anyways, um, I... enough uh, enough rambling about me being passive aggressive on uh, Kindu Gym. Let's get moved on to Alien versus Bougie. Alien was here earlier. Where did they go? No, it's not lunch. No. Lunch honestly doesn't really play unserious. Like I can tell that lunch is legitimately trying to play seriously. The cool thing about lunch know, is like know, anyone who says lunch isn't playing serious is um, has not truly played yeah. versus lunch in a long time. The thing is, is like if you if you get mad at lunch, like you are getting mad at a mirror of yourself, you know. Yeah, you're getting counter hit by like a million shadow cutters. Like, why are you fucking pressing on yeah. them, bro? That's on you. That's on you. <laughs> or like. If you um if you don't lab like large stance transitions or like you don't I... know how to like it's everything that lunch kills people with it's like that's on you bro it's <laughs> you I have to come clean I solar is correct I am talking about Kony from the Sage Jam Slam I am shouts out to Kony though shouts Kony... out to Kony. Very funny, very funny commentator, very funny tweeter. Not a very funny, not a very funny Tekken player, but I don't hold that against him. There was like a picture where there's like a thing he was doing where he was like asking Smash players that they can name like anyone, like name one fighting game character or whatever. And it was picking, um, <laughs> like including the ones, like including the ones that are in Smash Ultimate. No, it's just like fucking characters. And there's a picture of Kai Kisuke, but it's like from Accent Party thing. And the guy's like, I think it's Jin. And then Kony's like, no, nah, it's Kai, bro. And it's like, you have like half marks. You have half marks. You know who Jin is. Yeah, if you know who Jin, if you know who Jin is, and you get him confused with like Kai, I'm willing to give you that one. You get a half mark. Like you, you get something. Like you get a McDonald's yeah. hamburger. Nice. Also, so um, me versus Reyna. This is like one of my um, perfect matches. Also, it's it's not about it's not about Doctor Phil. The... It's not about Doctor Phil, and I'm not answering any more of these. Is it about Blank? That is the last I'm one I'm saying, doing. This is like this is like the perfect outfit that a man can wear. Go Absolutely. In, in the future, everyone will be dressed exactly like one of these two people. Uh, this is the future that the girls want. Yeah, Rena's punish on um, Lee's top kick, by the oh. way, is uh, perfect electric. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It, yeah, it was London, yeah. Oh, no, duck on the G2 3. Okay, just throw it out the Woo! down forward too. Why the hell not? Jesus. Wow. I really like that wall combo. Yeah, that was like the perfect adjustment to like this weird fucked up situation. I was still going for like the forward 4 1 stuff. Oh, I love this combo route. I never can... do it. I just think it's cool. One of the big highlights of character familiarity is how well they're able to adjust to uh, scramble situations. Oh, two, uh, two out of three. Out. For those that don't know, with Lee Chao Wan, the technique that Alien is doing was like a punch into a bunch of kicks. This, um, on his easiest form, requires two just frame inputs. But to do it after blocking a move requires an extremely like specific timing to beat the block input. Oh, it's like uh, it's, it's hard to do. Yeah, that timing is effectively three just frames. Three just frames makes it easier than doing two just frames. Unless you're in heat, then it's free. 
Then it's free, yeah. It's free real estate. Ooh, oh my God, okay, it. okay. <laughs> no, the missing plate. What the hell? That was it insane. Out, <laughs> There's a lot going on here, chat. Yeah. No, I don't think it was a rage quit. It wasn't a rage quit. Yeah, it was just like a network hiccup. It was just a network hiccup. What was the alien going for there? What I don't know. I want to know. I just take the guaranteed hit. I do not do the like the fucking um, back turn throw setup. Like that's beyond me. I'm not good enough for that. I gotta say, like um. Back turn parry into uh, key charge is a massive power move. Round two. Especially if you kill like after. Yeah. Got some weird shit going on with the connection. Yeah, here, there's some nice sound part. I can't part. tell. I can't tell if it's on their end or on ours. Woo. I think it's on their end. Maybe. Woo! Yo, Alien is finding these berries. Oh, you know what it probably was? Alien was probably like mashing the follow up to the to the parry and got key charge. Well, yeah, but uh, I've never had that happen to me before. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll have to we'll have to analyze the tapes in post chat. It could have just been a flex. We it could entirely be a flex. Let's be real here. I follow the race runner. <laughs> Magic the screenshot button. Does that still work? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they've patched it out. I hope so. Because <laughs> that shit was really stupid. Nice, too. Goes for the down forward 1-1 one, one punish. Goes a little bit into the 10 strength. Oops. Oh, okay, oh, we okay. We do got those. We don't I have the comp. Do the blazing we kick. don't have the blazing kicks, but that's okay. Nice stuff. I honestly would rather just do fucking up back three than the blazing kick. Like, it's three less damage, but I get oki okay after. Like, why do I want the blazing kick? I don't care. I feel like everybody, I feel like everybody who picks up Lee as a sub does it just to like, style, you know? They're like, yeah, I've, I've got those. I can do mist traps. I can do acid rain. The game I hit like a raw mist trap, fucking in neutral, I was losing my shit. I've been there. I've done that. that it, feels, it. it feels better than any, than any drug chat. You have to understand. This is the reason why people play Li Chao Bla. Li Chao Lan is like the closest you can come to experiencing a Black Flash in real life. <laughs> I mean, that's basically the character is just Black Flash the character. Like once you start doing acid rain block punishes, like you just instantly level up and like your opponent is just fucked. I'm curious if uh, Bougie's going to stay on Reyna. Reyna's such a hard character. She is a very She's difficult a... character. She has like a very low skill floor, but Get the skill seeing the is battle. astronomical. And Alien is familiar with a lot of these strengths. Mm -hmm. Alien, of course, being one of the Mishi maniacs. Yeah, Alien Reyna. also Alien also plays Reyna. So there have there is some familiarity here. No one bet on my gosh damn pull. What was the pull? I'm just going to delete it. I... It was Alien versus Bougie, and no one oh. I'm, I'm upset. That's okay. Don't worry about it. This is a this is a scuff this is a scuff violence system. We're just gonna take it easy tonight. Yeah. We run it. I will bet. I will not. <laughs> no. That's not how gambling works. You don't you don't get to watch the first third of the horse race and then say, wait, I want to put in my bet now. That is not how gambling works, chat. Okay. Was she keeping her composure there? Absolutely. What music do you think Reyna listens to, everyone? Mm -hmm. Let's just say I think Reyna is upset that it is no longer Brat Summer. Well, yeah, it's Mangalina Bay Autumn. Imaginal Autumn Baby going for the 444 does not land the frame frame. So sorry. London says you can bet on every individual leg on the horse race. Uh, you don't can? horses have four legs? They, I'm pretty sure oh they God. do, last time I checked, yeah. The other day, um. What was I gonna say? It's something about horses. Mint, what was I gonna say? You were gonna say that horses have four legs? Round 
No, I already said that. You were gonna say that, that they should invent um, horseshoes made out of ra out of radium so that the horses get radiation poisoning. Why would I say that? I mean, I don't know. You were the one who was gonna say it. If I said that, Naz's wife would come hunt me down. That is true. Maybe you were being like combative. Bougie is dialing in. That is correct. Good break on that. The only thing I'm dialing in is the number to fucking pizza hotline. You guys don't know what that is. Let's. I'm typing Chat. slash. I'm typing slash pizza as we speak right now. Chat. Post something if you know what pizza hotline is. If anyone knows what pizza hotline is, you will get a. Pop. Oh, good whip on that. Oh no! Uh -oh. Oh, oh, so close, but the whip on that—that that wouldn't have killed anyways. So there would have been like one more interaction afterwards, anyways. Yeah. Bougie like fought for a surprisingly large amount of time. It was literally one hit point. Mm -hmm. Oh, not Ooh, quite. Nice. We're going for it. Mm -hmm. I would like them to bring back Bakum though, honestly. Like, a g getting the ability to like do that character design again, but like, good and like with not poop, poop butt ass like Tekken 7 graphics, you know? Make him like not look like a fucking FF7 Overworld character this time. By the way, if you're curious and you would like to try being an Acid Rainer like me, um, not Acid Raina, but that would be a pretty cool combination. Acid Raina. The rain. rhythm is tick, 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 tick. Tick, 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 tick. If you do it to that rhythm, you will get an Acid Rain block punish. Tick, 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 tick. If you are, if you are a Raina and Lee dual main, there is a, there is a free username for you. Attack four. Yeah, nice, yeah, nice, nice, yeah, yeah. Nice, nice, Like this. Yo! Let's go, let's go. Nice duck on that. Good nice job. duck on the down floor, far, far. Lee players love to do the dumbest shit you've ever seen and then it works somehow. I'm pressing four, four, baby. We are, we are Heihachi gaming. That was the Heihachi shit. Like, we are four, Heihachi four, gaming. Four, 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 down floor, that's a hot you right there. I have a sneaking suspicion no. who Bougie is going to be playing in approximately three to six days. All right, aliens got the fourth oh, okay. Point. That is hard. Tries to go for the ever. unblockable setup. Not quite able to land it. Oh, that uh, didn't quite hit the wall. That would have killed if it hit the wall. No, so unfortunate. Wait, it's around it is. Uh, that is Lee's 223. The last hit is duckable, and if you duck it, you kill the lead. But if Lee hits it against you, against a wall, you literally die. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm honor and duty bound to play Heihachi for the next two weeks. I will be playing some Leo in between, but it will be primarily Heihachi. Vince, like, man, I have to play Heihachi. Yeah, I, oh no. Play, oh no. I never play Heihachi. I have to play, I have to play the overtuned DLC character that's gonna get nerfed in a month and a half. Oh, woe is me. Not the overtuned DLC character that's gonna be nerfed in a month based on a character I played for like several months in Tekken 7. Not I played him for like, I played him for like two weeks in Tekken 7, to be fair. It was a fun two weeks, though. Nice duck. Nice combo here. Yeah, a really cool combo string there. A lot of recoverable health, though. You gotta be careful. Um, okay. my, my personal favorite low combo is, for Lee is forward one to get, like, the tornado. Forward four three. Uh... Four, four, three, down three, and then I get a mix up afterwards from down three hit man. I love doing that. It's very fun. <laughs> Alien really wants to hit as many acid rains as possible. I mean, that's why you play the character, to be fair, you know? Not true. You also play the character to press back four, three. That's true. Is that a taunt Lee's doing? Uh, no, that is a parry. parry. 
Um, if Lee lands the parry, she teleports behind them. You're talking about where he, like, um, wipes his thumb across his nose and he goes, like, come on. That's a parry. Yeah, come on is the parry. If yeah. he, like, leans down low and starts, like, uh -oh. bending you forward with his finger, this will kill. I don't think this will kill. No, it will, because look, look, we got the, we got the rage art. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna win the game, but it's not gonna kill. No, it's a kill, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Solar, that's, uh, that's a parry. Wait, wait, one second, one second, kill. That's the whole cuts no can. Absolutely. Is Why there anybody like this? Is there anybody here who has not seen that famous HNK round where um Kenshiro gets the uh pressure point super on the other guy and then like he like just tries to run out the clock on him? Because that's that's such a good round in a fighting game. It's insane. I'll link it I'll link it uh afterwards in the chat if someone reminds me to, because I will forget five minutes from now to do it. Yeah. I honestly love watching like the basketball combos. Those are so fun. Me too. I'm sad that Game Newton stopped doing the yearly HNK tournament because of COVID, because that was really like one of the things I look forward to a lot. Oh, you got him! Nice, She's nice. Dead. Nice, nice. Oh perfect. That is my combo right there. That's what I'm <laughs> talking about. That's they call that combo. they call that the Pog Boyfriend. Oh, yep. I, yeah, so yep. Solar, if um you punch Lee while he's doing that uh, parry that you were asking about. That's the animation that he does. He like flips over behind you, and then he's got like a follow up kick that's guaranteed. Or you can like take your chances with a bot with a back turn combo, but it's not guaranteed. So it's like a mind games thing. Just so you know, everyone, that combo is fucking crazy. You can get like um. Back turn like two two three or something like that. He used to have a uh, guaranteed launch on. Well, not guaranteed, but um, if he hit you with the first hit of the string, it was like a launch and back turn in seven. But I don't know if he still has that move. Yeah, he has like a back turn throw setup or something, but I don't actually know. I have not studied nice. I the yeah. One one plus two. Everything I know about Lee is from uh, Tekken Seven. I don't know much about him in this game, honestly. Nice, going for the electric when God kicks ball up on Oki. Very smart. Good blocks, very oh, good kill. patience there. You can launch that. Nope. Launch it. <laughs> Why launch when you get acid rain? Round four. Fight. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Please launch Raven to do the power. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Ooh, uh... Okay. You win. That is... Alien beasting on the lead. That's, uh, four for Alien, is that correct? That's four for Alien. Okay. Ducky wanted to be informed when their match was getting close. I sent the message out. Nice. Welcome to the chat. Hey. Hi, Tom Pocket. Tom Pocket, would you eat a watermelon? Why that's not. Watermelon? That's not Tom Pocket. That's that's Om Pocket. Get ready for the next no, no, battle. that's Tom Pocket. Mm -hmm. Om Pocket's a Discord member, but if you look in the Twitch chat, it says Tom Pocket. That's a typo. That's a typo. It's a typo. That's a typo. Yeah. Round one. <laughs> Yo, that's Violet. You're not allowed to change characters on a win. This is this is a disqualification. Down far, far, far. Let's go. Look at the Pegasus. Okay. So majestic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I think the Pegasus is more majestic than Unicorn because it has wings. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so we do have the Lydia swap. I am curious how confident in her Lydia Bougie is. Bougie is quite confident in her Lydia. The problem is, it's not warmed up, and yeah. Alien has already hit multiple acid rains. I've only counted. I've only counted one acid rain success so far, just for the record. Oh, nice backstash. <laughs> The next question is, can Alien hit a down 4-3 uh, back to... That is a very important question. Oh my god, robbed. That's crazy. Because you can get the pickup on the down 3-4. You got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, baby. She's got it. Gap. Okay, smart move there. Nice save. This is just like an outfit I would wear in real life, by the way. Which one? Lydia. Oh, okay. I didn't want to- honestly wear like a purple satin shirt? I think- I think you would, yeah. What's wrong with purple satin shirt? Pickable. What? What's wrong with that? You're avoiding nice the question. Guy. I do not need to dignify that with a response. Hitman 3 to power crush through this. Oh. Making such good use of um, space and the timer here. Is it just near? Does that wall, like, from a distance, look like there's missing textures? I, yeah. I, yeah. I agree with that. This is, uh, this is not home field advantage because Violet does not live here. Lee lives here. More like home select advantage. Oh, that's so true. <laughs> Going for the infinite kick. For those that aren't aware, down forward one does have a very low hitbox. Or rather, a hurt box. So you can duck under jabs and stuff with it. Lee Chow launched down forward one, I should say. It's one of the unique things about Lee that make him really annoying to fight. I'm gonna count to three, and I want everybody in chat to post their favorite home stuck troll. Okay. Oh, good backdash. Okay, goes for the stance mix up. Oh, good jab. Oh, big counter hit. That's gonna go into this uh, keep there. Oh, another big counter hit. Not gonna quite kill, but guess. Goes for the mid. Goes for the mid. Oh, big down forward too. I think you can kill it here with, like, perfect combo. Uh, not that. That's why you get scared of jabbing? Oh yeah, God. that's fair. Alright. Alien takes it. Hey, Hachi. That was a great set. A lot of fun to watch that one. All right, our last set of the evening, Rebrand versus Ducky. Do we have Rebrand on deck? Is Rebrand... Uh, Rebrand asked about 45 minutes ago. Uh, oh, they just responded. They're on their way. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of great sets tonight. As usual, as usual. Some good sets. The only Some bad sets, sets. the only bad sets, sets are the ones that get disconnected halfway through. That's what I have to say. True. Or like sets with uh, the devil. The devil? Like Devil yeah, Jin? Everyone... Or like the devil himself? Everyone put your hockey pucks in. Rebrand versus Ducky. I want to see 5,000 hockey pucks. That's the first pull you've had up. I want to see 5,000 hockey pucks. If we don't get pool. if we don't get 25,000 hockey pucks in the next 15 minutes, the stream is turning off. Wow. You're hearing it here. I'm I'm not saying this. I'm just simply reporting on what the facts are. We need 5,000 hockey pucks in this pool. So, Rebrand versus Ducky. Everyone put your channel points. 
but your hockey puck's where your mouth is. You got 5,000 on rebrand. 5,000. 5 million. 5,000 million. 5,000 hundred million. One infinity hockey pucks. Wait, 2,003 hockey pucks have been placed on Ducky. All right. Both of our players are in position. You get a multiplier on your bets if you're a subscriber. What the hell? Everyone subscribe what to Minter Galactic so you can get a multiplier on your bet. What the hell? Shouts out to Markiplier. Shouts out to Mark. Shouts out to Mark with the pliers. The payout yeah, is no 1.2 is... times. It, it's a good thing that these aren't like real money. What do you mean? I feel like ready for the next if battle. it was real money, people would be subscribing to you in droves. That's so true. Get that payout. Okay, so All Ducky's right. on Reyna. Not expect, not exactly who I expected. Rebrand is on Jin. Let's see how this goes. I like this this uh, costume here. Jin with a beard is like weird looking. It does it's not like a good beard. Like it doesn't mat it doesn't go all the way up. It looks weird. Ducky is pushing buttons right now. We were able to uh sidestep into the launch though. Down to the god move. Okay. And goes for the goes for the high low low. <laughs> that is a spirit Halloween beard. That is absolutely true. I agree with that, aliens. I 100% agree with that. I would add I would add Steve to that list. All right, you are on three weeks of a hot. Oh now. my god, you guys need to stop. I don't want to play this character for three weeks. You guys gotta stop. Alright, the Heihachi month is incoming. Huh. Okay, October is the month of Heihachi. Officially. Oh, it's Tsubaki there. Dead. Dead. Nice sock. <laughs> Yo, the wild standing two for the mid launcher. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Four weeks. I get it. The winter of Heihachi. It's more like autumn. It's not really like winter, is it? Kind of. Gen players are always doing that, like, stand shit to, like, That is true. Play. That is they true. All, they love that. They all do that. Why do they do that? Alright, after this stream, I am, I am increasing the cost of the pick my main for the week. Inflation, inflation has gotten far too out of control. Good duck on that. It's no one. Good patience there. Yeah, that's right. Jin can launch that. Because he's got an I-14. He does, he does. Actually, one there. of the moves of all time. Absolutely one of the moves of all time. If you have an I-14 launcher, you are a privileged character. That's all I gotta say about that. Jin's got two of them, motherfuckers. It's true, he does. Really good wall pressure there. Round three. Oh, it's Rain's down back. Two it's... is minus 16. Oh, for some reason I thought it was a, knife, a minus 14. And everyone launch it? I no. Really... 
Whoa! Steve can. Oscar Steve can. can. Steve can. can. Steve 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 can. So yeah, I think everybody can. No, he can. He can launch it minus 16. Yeah, and Asuka can crouch cancel the thumb far too, uh, if she's a frame perfect. So all characters can just hit the just frame, new Baska. I still think it's crazy that Steve can launch it minus 16 crouching, but he has to wait until like I fucking, fucking I-23 at standing. Like, what the hell is that? Can you do like an instant wall standing to get a, a launch earlier? So you can feasibly launch at like I-18 if you do like uh, instant peekaboo up forward two or something like that. It's not very easy to do and it's like kind of distance dependent. Mm -hmm. So I yeah, I guess in that sense you could. It's like 18, 19 frames, somewhere around there. Yeah, so arena players are Fortnite dancing. They are Fortnite dancing. Not playing Steve anymore is very good for my mental health. Get I do miss him though. If he gets buffed again, like when season two comes out and he gets like substantial buffs, I'm absolutely hopping back on. But like, as of right now, I don't feel like he's worth playing. Round one. You gotta be like, you gotta be a diehard specialist to play him right now. Oh, big counter hit. This Jin costume is crazy. Yeah, this is like, I like it. It's very cyberpunk. He does, he does. He needs buffs. Okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. If season two introduces substantial nerfs to the cast, then how about that? How about that? They should buff Steve by letting him eat beans on toast mid-match. Good frame trap there. Also, I agree with that. He needs he needs buffs in the form of everybody else getting nerfs. Nice too. We got the pickup on there. Fun fact for the chat: that heat engager from uh, Jin is referred to as median line destruction. It sounds Fun. like the name of a uh, rock song from the 2000s. <laughs> it sounds it does. I was gonna say it sounds like a One Piece attack name. Ah, uh, funny string. God, we were just like letting Raina finish her attack and bounce her is so funny. <laughs> Just up. Yeah. He was on Steve Arc recently. I wonder if he's he still was, playing. He was, yeah. I don't know if he's still playing Steve. I think Speed Kicks is just kind of playing whoever right now. This character is fucking stressful. I wish I could like Tekken 8 as much as Speed Kicks does. That guy it sounds like he hasn't made in the shade. I really like Tekken 8. I agree that it. I agree with the haters that there are problems, but no. I I have fun when I push the buttons, and that's no, really. I like this game. That's but really I like all I can really say about level. it. Yeah. No, you're saying like this. It's like you're ride or die. Like you're one and only. Yeah, like. The speed kicks Tekken 8, um, speed kicks Obama and Tekken 8. Exerd, <laughs> like that kind of character. No, uh, no, specifically Majin Obama pre Revelator Bedman Exerd. <laughs> That's a cool combo, nice by combo. the way. Is that guaranteed, or is there like a can you like get up off of that? I feel like that is a tech trap, but I don't actually- I haven't lapped in particular. It's not guaranteed, okay. Yeah, I thought it was like a tech trap, but... Good break on that throw. Oops. Press up on the spike down and you can block the CD1 and punish. Okay. Thank you, Tainalo. Yay, I remembered correctly. The That's last time cool I fought throw. like a really good gin was um, a, a while ago actually. I fought uh, Dr. Phil and Eric too, like a few months back, but neither of them did that. Chad, I'm gonna be honest here. If you're not playing gin right now, why are you not playing gin right now? Deadlines. 
This character can do everything, and he does it really well. Could interrupt on that. Can't beat Nina in the bitch lap. That is true. That is true. That is his one weakness. Exactly. Nina Gaming. If yeah. you are seriously looking into studying the the Reyna character and you want to play Reyna for real for you, practice hit confirming Ford 4 2. Because you can hit confirm Ford 4 2 into Sentai 3. And it will make your Reyna so much cleaner if you can do it. That is true. I think Ducky is kind of just like touristing on this character because he wants to wait for um, Heihachi to come out. Hey, Hachi. Hey, Hachi. I wonder if Reina is like really the character you want to play if you want a tourist for Yehachi. Honestly, if it was I, me, I, feel like I would Kazuya just wait. Kazuya would be. I would just wait for the character to come out. And yeah, like I would just, just wait. Practice Kazuya in the lab or whatever. I think Kazuya would be better for Reina because Reina's got like a lot of idiosyncratic things about her. Mm -hmm. Like she does. Reina is her true. own character, and a lot of it has to do with like how she manipulates and moves in and out of her stances in a way that I don't think Heihachi will have. We've seen some of the stuff with his stances, but it seems like battle. mostly relegated to either heat things or in like combo filler. I haven't seen a lot where they're like using the stances in the gameplay. Whereas Rain is like constantly going into stances. That is true. Though the thing with um, Heihachi is that um, they are placing more of an emphasis on um, Raijin. And uh, yeah. they added Fujin as well, so. Yeah, they also have uh, the World Warrior. That is true. Street Fighter 2, the World Warrior. Rebranding some Sega jabs like, do you know how to deal with this? Um, Ducky's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the answer is apparently yes. Honestly, check your opponent on Stagger Jabs and Stagger DF1s. Like, it is... That shit works up into, like, Tekken King level. Like, Lennon does this to people sometimes that are Tekken King. I will say... Tekken King. Yeah. It, it works. If you did that. It works. The thing you have to remember is that... Oh, nice splash deck on that. The thing you have to remember is that a lot of players will kind of just break down when you throw out something simple and effective and you just continue to use it like if you just df1 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 late and they don't know the response to that then you are under no obligation to stop doing that oh that's gonna be yep goes for the throw afterwards yeah <laughs> why not right uh, throw punishes are actually like really good because they're unbreakable. So you can get the cool throws. Like the generic one break throw, no one ever fucking uses that. I think Quizza even got distraction players being fucked up by nothing but that's true. Yeah. I like in Tekken 7 when I would play Mel, like sometimes I'd win rounds like entire rounds of jab and down to one. Nobody, nobody is immune to simple fundamental Tekken. People get so yeah. caught up in like running their game plan, watching for lows, watching for throws. Nice hot kick over the uh, house. Nice. Uh... Like they sometimes, if you throw something like really simple out at them, they just. I think that's gonna get blocked. Yeah. They just like forget how to function at a basic level sometimes. You know. And that'll do it. Also, Jitacrab made a video about how good one jab is. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. It's a good move. Good move. There's Anyways. a reason that every wiki page says one jab is good, okay? Thank you so much to all of our players tonight. Um, excellent job to rebrand. Uh, I did not know that you played Jin, but I guess I shouldn't be super surprised because everybody plays Jin. Um, thank you so much tonight to Minori and Dandy. Um, I know you guys lost your initial opponents, so I appreciate you sticking around and fighting each other. 
Um, thank you to Solar and Jupes, Kyojin Kid, as well as a last minute entry. I appreciate you. Vorbane, uh, Bougie Alien, uh, Ducky and Vorbane. I know we had a lot of uh, technical issues tonight, and uh, I apologize for that, but you know what? We made it through it, and we were able to have a great stream. So, with that, I am going to let the stream go, and I will see you all next time. Uh, next week is going to be uh, Into the Stratosphere. Yep, that's correct. Um... It should be on. Uh, if it's if for whatever reason I do need to cancel next week, I'm not saying that this will happen, but I'm saying in the event that it does, um, the next week that I am available to stream will be an end of the Satisphere. It's not going to be a, oh, I missed the first week of the month. We're going back to Violent Systems. It's going to happen regardless. It is inevitable. So look forward to that next Friday into the stratosphere number two tell your friends and uh especially tell your friends that are good at tekken and uh it'll be a blast so thank you all so much for joining and good night bye bye